Today we will check out an alternative to the T array, namely the T set. Similar to a T array, a T set is a data structure that allows you to store data in one place. However, in contrast to a T array, a T set only stores unique values. That means that the same object can only exist once in a T set. To ensure the uniqueness of the elements in a T set, it uses a hash table that also allows efficient checking if a value is already present in a T set or not. So, that means that if you enter a new value to a T set, it gets passed through a hash function to get the hash value for this item. So, let's look at an example. In this case, we have a T set of integers. First, we add the value of 10. And like T arrays, we can use the add method for that. Next, we will add the value of 20. However, we can also pass an additional parameter to the add method, namely a pointer to a boolean. After the execution of the add method, this boolean will tell us if the element was already present in the T set. I created a method that converts the information to a small log message. As we can see, the value 20 was not present in the set. And if we log the current values of the set, we can see that we have stored 10 and 20 in it. If we now try to add the element 10 again, you will see that we get informed that the value 10 was already inside the set. And when we log the set again, we can see that we still only have the value 10 stored once in the set. One small thing I would like to add is for the add function that it returns a fset element ID. This element ID can be used to identify an element inside the T set. So, for example, if you want to remove an element, you can either do it by passing the actual value or the element ID to it. When you look at the functionality that a T set offers, you will see a lot of similar methods that you can also use for a T array. However, I want to briefly talk about three methods union, difference, and intersect. These are operations that combine two T sets together. Depending on which method you use, the outcome will change. Let's say we have two sets, the first one containing 1, 2 and 5 and the second one containing 1, 3 and 4. If we now call set1 union set2, it will return a set that contains all values of set1 and set2. So in our case, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. If we call set1 difference set2, it will only return the values that are in set1, but not in set2. Since the value 1 is present in both sets, the new set only contains 2 and 5. Lastly, if we call set1 intersect set2, it will only contain the values that are in set1 and set2. In our case, the value 1 is the only value present in both sets. Therefore, the new set only contains this value. If you want to check out T sets in more detail, I will leave a link in the description. But you should already see that T sets offer great functionality for scenarios in which you want to ensure uniqueness inside a data structure. Like always, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments. Otherwise, see you next time.